guys, welcome to Angel Whispers, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another Pika Shell reading and this is Have You Met The One? So this is requested to me by Saint Chamuel and Saint Michael's Archangel because during this period it's really releasing of karmics and toxic cycles in our life in order for us to find the one. Okay, but in some cases, the angel say some people already met the one, some people hasn't yet, especially if they need to grow up or mature or change so that they may find the partner that they seek or they may have the person, the one, okay, that they're searching for, okay? So anyway... Okay, it's like the M and the F in unity, okay? Um, it happens if both parties will change, both parties will be better, and of course, forgiveness will be there as well. The angels say if ever there is clashes between the feminine and the masculine, okay? So anyways, or anything else, angels? So be careful on what you prayed for for the divine because the divine always answers your prayers. If you don't want your, let's say, masculine or feminine back, then they will, you know, they will take it, okay? They will take it seriously to the point that you may not find this person anymore in your life, okay? Especially if you have been hurt, if this person really betrayed you so hard. So I feel like some of you already move on, walk away from the karmic connection but yet in some cases there are some instances wherein you know exes come back and then they ended up being together again there can be at some point but yet if ever you decided to move on and change and find someone else and not the one that you know is destined for you then it's okay they understand your pain they understand um the trauma that the person have caused you. That's why you guys can be together. They do respect if you got hurt or if that person got hurt by you. They could resonate, guys. So anyway, misfortunes happens if you hurt someone. Remember that the angels say. And they don't have any assurance if ever the person that you hurt will want you back. And that's why they're saying that if somebody that is hurt prayed okay that they don't want this past person back they will grant it especially if that person is holy especially if that person is a light worker um god always grants wishes of those people that are in a i feel like high high regards or I won't say position because honestly, God is the highest of all, right? So I would say those people that are in the light, okay, um, that are doing, you know, um, good things for humanity. Anyways, or anything else? Little, that's it. So anyway, we got six choices here. Number one is a shell with red and green shade. Number two is orange shell. Number three is shell with a um, vulcan coral design. Okay, whatever it is, because it looks like a vulcan. Okay, that's number three. Number four is a shell with a swirl coral design. Number five is white shell. Number six is coral um, shell with snake like coral okay so choose wisely guys don't base it on your ego or else it may not resonate let the shell call in to you but if no shell is calling in then don't force yourself guys go between this time it may not resonate for you okay because some cases you know not all pick a card readings or pick a shell whatever has reading for you okay respect it guys okay especially if your guys don't want you to you know know <laughs> something about the future it happens sometimes like you're blocked from knowing okay so don't force yourself because respect the divine timing okay if they want it as a surprise for you then let it be <laughs> all right um is there anything else okay forgot to put this <laughs> protection okay so is there anything else angels 
So they say to me that be prepared for big changes is coming in your way. So you, if you are in the right track, the angels say obviously you will bloom. Meaning you will have abundance in your life like good fortune, okay, with regards to money. But if you're dating, let's say a karmic, a toxic person, you experience a drought. So that is your clue there. Especially for those people who are dating already. If you know that that is the right person for you, then you should know that you grow with that connection like you earn like you make your business bloom kind of thing and then money is flowing in your life okay but if you're dealing with a karmic like bad things to happen like example breakdown of let's say a car like there's a lot of bad um like a bad omen or bad luck okay that you can't explain um it just mean that you could be dealing with somebody that is um can be evil okay like they planted a lot of let's say bad karma and then bad karma is hitting them in many different ways okay or you could experience lack of money could be they're using you for money that can be okay so make sure that you're looking at your finances okay um if things don't go well while you are dating it's not really i feel like it that person could be somebody who brings the bad luck to you it could be their energy okay so i think that you really need to keep an eye on what's happening around you okay so if ever you're single okay and you're wondering who is meant for me Make sure that you learned your lessons, the angels say, from your past connections. That's what they want you to know. And it's very important, guys, because if you're still somebody who hasn't learned the lessons, then things might be repetitive in your love life that you may encounter again another karmic connection. So make sure to learn from those mistakes that you have before. Okay, and yeah, choose wisely meaning attitude matters okay the angels say that's very important and don't love a person just because they have a good fortune they have reputation like this and like that no you should love okay your person for who they are not because of that same material gain and even not because of their looks okay what's very important is a person that has a good heart that too resonates with you that um, chemistry shall be present, the angels say. Okay. So, anyway, I don't know why the angels say choose your words wisely. Um, could be. Okay. In some cases, the angels say, especially if you know to yourself that you're kind of harsh with your words. Okay. That's also a thing that you need to know is that you really need to practice on um, having let's say having a good expression okay or not to break people down because of your speech don't manipulate others the angels say okay i don't know why it comes first okay anyways or anything else angels and don't break hearts because the angels say if ever you break hearts then bad karma will follow you and then the next connection could be somebody that will break your heart that will make you experience the same experience that you made another person feel okay and don't be rude to others the angels say i don't know why you feel jealous okay um like a jealous vibe okay so the angels say to me that could be some of you okay has jealous issues with regards to let's say um people that are posting good about their love life okay don't be jealous they say you will have your own timing and don't put negativity on the couple so what they want you to do is that couple um always bragging about their connection then just you know unfollow that's the best thing that you can do rather than you know if you're aware that you have that kind of negativity that you tend to be jealous then rather unfollow than put negativity on others that's what they want you to be aware so is there anything else 
I thought that's it. So anyway, guys, just pause the video if you're not yet ready. And I'll proceed now with number one. Hey guys, for those who chose number one, which is the red shell with green shade, here is your reading. So let's see if you already met the one number one. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's check. If majority of the cards are in upright, it means yes, it means that you met the one already. But if majority of the cards are in reverse, it means no. So let's check. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know if those who chose number one already met the one. Another detail. So we'll check what we have here. I feel like you have been through a lot um karmic into karmic cycle and I feel like you also encounter karma because of um whatever you've done in the past, okay? You could have jealousy issues number one and I think that you need to let go of it because that might backfire to you. That's why things are not going well with regards to your love life, okay? Now anyway, let go of jealousy issues, alright? Now, they keep on saying that, guys. So anyway, let's count how many are reverse. One, two, three, four. So we got four in reverse. We got one, two, three, four, four upright two. It's a maybe. But they will see why they gave us a maybe. Let the cards clarify, okay? Could be a metal one, but yet something happened we'll check okay angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so i may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand i do see here that okay you should block people that made you feel jealous again okay, social media so you may not put negativity on them because that will also backfire. Because remember what you put out there is what you shall receive. If you put negativity then it will come to you. So just remember to break the cycle, okay? And focus on your work, on your money making before you focus on love. I think that you know, you ended up with the wrong person because the divine wants you to realize that you're not yet ready. With regards to love connection, okay? You could be already divorced or you just got away from a karmic partnership that is for some. You thought that this is the one but it's not, okay? Let's see why they gave you a maybe. So the angels say it's because you're rushing love. And that's the reason why you have been through a lot with regards to love connection. See, you hear the dogs barking. So that is a sign, guys, that the connection that you have been through is, you know, it's like that. Like there's a lot of argument and there's no chemistry in the connection. And it's actually teaching you not to rush love. Okay? Like if you love, the angels say, in choosing a partner, you should take some time to know them first. Don't write, don't jump right away into a connection without knowing the person first. That's what you need to learn. Because honestly, what's going on with you, you're balancing your life. Like, you need to learn from your mistakes. Because they say they can send you the right partner if ever you don't change. The angels say, like misfortunes happens when you don't know what you want. And that's the reason why your victory card is in reverse. Okay? Because I do see here that some of you, you could be rushing love. Like you're not yet ready. You're not yet stable. Okay? I think that you also need to learn how to love yourself first. 
okay how to fill your empty cup and not to rely your joy with other people okay and i do see here that you also encounter people that just use you for money and then left you for someone else when you, you lost your money and i'm feeling here that the angels also say to me don't be prideful like if you were in a relationship don't boast the angels say so i feel like yeah i really need to learn how to let go of being too prideful how to be humble as well okay so i feel like they do want you to be an introvert when you encounter connection like don't love somebody just because they are a trophy person okay that you can brag and i feel like that is what you're studying on knowing what it is that you really want if you want a trophy person then that is what you're gonna get but they have a bad attitude because a divine wants you to know which is really important in terms of relationship okay like be careful on what you wish for kind of thing so that's the reason why even though they could send you the one you will end up with a wrong person because you're unstable you don't know what you really want okay with the hierophant again in reverse i would say to you guys okay actually you don't have um this leadership with regards to finding a partner like the divine will send you the person wherein you will learn something if you didn't change if you remain the same okay some of you may remain single for the rest of your life i don't know why it comes forth the angels say don't do that to yourself you better know which is important is it the looks is it the attitude is it let's say the trophy the status or is it let's say whatever they have right so don't think that you should love because you will need to brag you get what i mean what if the one that you brag is gone so don't do that angels say okay so what they want you to do is let go of your old patterns of your old ways and you will find the right person i feel like the one that is meant for you is somebody who's nurturing kind and giving and that's the reason why you need to release this objective that your person should be like this a trophy person whatever you put on the list because if you keep on doing that you're gonna ignore the one that is for you for some of you could have met this person already but you rejected <clears throat> because of your wanting um something else okay so i do see here that there is someone that is really meant for you guys and whomever this person is this has a loving vibe angelic vibe as well this is not a demanding person this is a very a stable woman or man if ever they are a man they have a loving energy and they are kind-hearted okay and don't take them for granted the angels say because some of you may have a tendency to take them for granted and i feel like this person is a hard worker so once that you break this person's heart they may not want you back anymore because you broke their heart because if ever this person love okay they're not just in for passion i would say okay they will not love you because of this they will love you because they love you okay they are willing to put the work effort with regards to the connection but yet if you mi mistreated them they will be misguided to leave you like they don't want you anymore see they will not accept you so they want you to to learn your lessons because you do have a tendency to ignore the right person for you they say to me see that you might accidentally choose the wrong person if you keep on doing the same mistake if you keep on looking for an option that you have in mind okay so i do see here that when the right partner comes okay you will feel that this is the one i feel like this is really a giving person when they give you something like um it will heal you they do have a good aura and i do say with the hangman i think that the divine really is 
giving you a lot of signs and chronicities when you met this person because they do want you to be loyal to whomever this person is. They want you to choose this person and not your old patterns or old ways because you will miss this chance. The angels say you will miss this opportunity and this is what you should be. You should be somebody who knows what it is that is really best for you. And don't be stubborn, the angels say. Because if you're too stubborn, you're not quite sure. You met the one and then you broke their heart. You will miss a chance. For some of you, you could have found this person already. But you broke their heart. Okay. Well, for some of you, you haven't found this person yet. And then the angels just want to show you that if you change, okay. You will have this, you know, opportunity to be with your, you know, the one that is meant for you, number one. So that's why they gave you a maybe as an answer because some people here have met a person, okay? Some haven't yet. And you're just here so that they can express that you should, you know, change your ways in your criteria. With regards to finding a lover. So whomever the one that's destined for you. It totally makes you happy. Okay, It totally makes your heart jump. The angels say. I feel like misfortune happened to you. When you met the wrong one. Okay, Like you always don't have money. Like you have to please this person. Okay, So make sure to see the signs. Okay, And synchronicities too. When you met the one. So. The angels say, like, actually the divine is really waiting for you to mature. Because based on your reading, you're not yet that mature. And make sure you're not rushing into love. Make sure that you learn your lessons, like, you're stable with regards to, let's say, your emotions. And pentacles to money, okay? Because I do see here, some of you has a tendency to... um be dependent on a person for the happiness and joy but you really need to be grounded okay that's what they want you to do so you also got okay peace and also you also have jobs so i think that what they want you to know is that love takes time because some of you could be rushing love and you're not yet ready with regards to love so that's the reason why they're kind of saying um, take some time to build your finances, to build your empire before you find the one. Okay, and if ever you hurt the one that is meant for you, if you already find this person, make peace with that person. Okay, that's what they want you to do, number one. So take what resonates, guys. Okay, so some of you find it already. Well, some of you haven't yet, okay? And now, you're being asked on to to kind of like look back on the past and see what you need to change, okay? So that you'll be mature, so that you may meet the one for you, and so that you may not miss the opportunity they say to me, okay? So don't take good people for granted. That's also what they want you to be aware, number one. And is there anything else? Okay, so I do see here that you seem to care about the one, okay? Because I do feel like some of you are already met, but you broke their heart. And they say, chill, okay? Let them be, let them heal. If ever it's such a time for them to, to go to you, I feel like they're not coming if ever you hurt them. So you really have to... Be the one who approach. That's what they're going to suggest. But do that on the right timing. Because sometimes they could be angry. Okay. And they will not accept your offer. So make sure to follow the guidance of heaven. To notice the sign and synchronicities first before you approach. Okay. So is there anything else? They thought that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching. Those who chose one and send you all peace, love, and light. I'm really sorry I can't give you an accurate answer because there's a lot of energy. That's why it's turning into a maybe. Okay? So just take what resonates number one and send you all peace, love, and light. Bye.
Hi guys, for those who chose number 2 which is the orange shell, here is your reading. So let's see. If you already met the one number 2, but I don't know why I sense karma. Let's see, okay? So if majority of the cards are in upright, it means yes, you already met the one. But if majority of the cards are in reverse, it takes... It means no. I wonder why I say take. <laughs> Let's see. Angels and guides. Please provide guidance to the cards. So we may be able to know. If number two already met the one. I feel like you have been through a lot of mistakes. Misfortunes with regards to finding a partner. As I say. The tower came, or like the fallen. Okay, yeah, you already met, but yet you you regret what you did. Number two, but I do see here that you seem to care and love this person still, even though you guys didn't make it together. I feel like you could be crying whenever you remember your ex. another so let's see what happened it sounds like a karmic connection but yet this is the one the angels say okay so you may have misfortunes with this person i feel like you grow up together this could be a relationship wherein you have for a long time let's say around five years to up but it didn't, I feel like what happened here is that things didn't go well, like there's a separation. You have a yes. You could have misfortunes. You could have taken for granted this connection. And that's the reason why you could have been feeling like you took it for granted. No, the answer already. This is a yes, okay? So you may say, no, it's a karmic, but I see it. it's the one that is really destined for you number two but let's see why why the angel say it's it's the one okay and now we will count how many are upright one two three four five six so we got six upright how many are reverse one two three so obviously it's a yes guys all right now i'm gonna clarify the cards Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I do see that you care for this person still and I feel like you could be undecisive with regards to love life because you're back and forth, okay? And I do see here that the person that you could have dated in the past because i feel like an ex energy honestly i feel like you intuitively know that this is the person but yet i don't really see that the person care for you honestly could be you go separate lives um i'm sorry separate ways what am I saying? Anyway, we got a yes and answer. So first card that we got is this one. So it's a yes. Okay, so it's kind of like a toxic situation. Like there's always argument because during those times you're still growing up. Okay, that's what they want you to know. And both of you are being caught on to... I feel like you need to learn how to be strong for each other. Because some of you could be what happened here is that somebody gave up. Somebody stop fighting for the connection. Or there could be fighting involved and you got tired, okay? So with this one, I do see here that you know that this person is really someone that is really fortunate. Someone who gives you good luck. And I feel like crying when I hold these cards. Because now it's gone. Like ever since this person... Could be you chose someone else already, you go separate ways. Ever since this person is gone, like, you become like this, like, the coins was gone. Or 
you haven't met any person that is so caring, loving, and nurturing. Like, bad luck seemed to happen ever since this person left you. And I do see here that this person is start of the argument and that's why this person left. Some of you, this person could have left you. For some of you, um, you could be the one who got left. So just take what resonates number two. There's a really separation here, honestly. So I feel like because of the separation, both of you work things out with regards to your coins. Like that is um that is a beginning we're in you start to realize or wake up um i feel like the reasoning why your connection didn't work out i feel like you could be heavily crying whenever you remember whomever this person is number two like there is a chance okay if only you know you you kind of change what happened in the past like you want to go back to the past and offer whatever this person deserves. And I feel like, yeah, look at that. The person walk away. Because could be they are mistreated or could be things didn't go well in your connection. I cannot judge because I do see here that both of you seem to fight for this person. I'm sorry, for this connection. But yet, things didn't work well. I'm really sorry to hear that number two. I can hardly speak. Could be you guys can't hardly express how you feel about what happened to your relationship. I feel like this kind of connection is really teaching you to be like the king of pentacles. Like you build an empire. I feel like it's more on the coins field. Could be um, the moment that you could be together is when you have experienced a lot of i feel like lack of money can be or there could be argument about money and i feel like both of you change ever since that both of you separated like you learn how to invest save money and also this person learn how to work hard both of you become like an emperor and empress honestly speaking okay we got mature now during this time, both of you have the same energy vibe. And I do see here that the angels are really cheering you up. Like they're saying to you that, hey, you learned your lesson already. And also the one that you dated before. Like both of you are maturing and also your person. Okay, see this? Okay. Like the girl and the man here are becoming independent, which is really nice, honestly. So, misfortune happened to your life because you both of you are immature during those times. But, look at this. This is your guardian angel. Your guardian angel is not against the connection that you guys have. Because even though, let's say, you can't, what do you call this? Um, there could be fighting, but you can resolve, okay? I feel like it's also teaching you that next time around, if you will be involved in another connection, um, you need to learn how to handle the arguments, okay? It's also teaching you how to do it, how to resolve the problem, because go between those times you haven't resolved it and your person too. So there's a lesson learned here. So... The angels really is trying to cheer you up, okay? Like, even though this is kind of like a karmic, you will learn your lessons. I feel like there could be a chance that you guys may be, to get, um, be back together, but I don't really see that both of you are manifesting it. You could be feeling like you want somebody new. You don't want to remember the past because it's hurtful. Um... And that's another reason why it's not manifesting could be one of you doesn't want this connection anymore it's because with this one i do see that you want peace with your past and what they want you to know is that you transform the sit from the situation like you become a better person in the end so some of you this could be your twin flame the angels say and they told me that you know both of you can can get together if only both of you wants this but really one of you doesn't want 
and that's the reason why they're so union yet okay so what they want you to do right now i think that they want you to to be like this okay to be stable okay that's what they want you to know and learn from your mistakes as well because i feel like you learn number two okay you admit your mistake in the past i don't know if your person admitted to but yet i see that your person have grown honestly i feel like you could miss this person because this person really do give you good fortune okay so i do see here that yeah, you want this person to care for you can be because i feel like in their in their end this is how i feel okay like they don't seem to care about this connection right now like they release even themselves as you can see here so anyway let's check with your stones what we have here number two so it's a yes whomever is your ex is the one okay though you may say it's karmic but yet both of you got mature from the situation but it's really up to you if you want somebody new you can always talk to god okay oh oh dear because look at this one whatever you wish for will be given to you anyway let's check so we got the car for the first time i've seen this stone okay so we got the car so i just mean that you guys could live far away now or you're distant from each other so the 10 is a completion like obviously this is i feel like this is kind of like a karmic situation where it both of you transformed okay it's better that way you know than both of you haven't matured yet, right? So with the walls being here, so both of you could put walls against each other like the other one don't want the other. I feel like you're not on the same boat. If you want this person, they don't want, okay? Kind of thing, so planet. I have a feeling here that this could be how you see your person. Like they are out of this world, like they're so unique. You can't find anyone like them very mysterious too very mystical i do feel like you're still crying whenever you remember whomever this person is and guys okay um i think that you really need to talk to your guides about this okay like if ever you really want to meet this person talk to your guides talk to your angels talk to god that you really want okay you want to make things work out between the both of you okay and i feel like the heaven is really hugging you whenever you cry whenever you remember this connection oh uh, hugs to you number two okay so you can work things out in the future in the end because the angels say god will make it work for you because they see how much you hurt, how much you really miss this person. So there may be a chance for union. Okay. Just remember to stay hopeful and pray. Okay. And see the synchronicities too and signs because that can give you a clue and also dreams. Okay. So is there anything else? They thought that's it. So anyway, thank you for... Okay. The angels say if this person do you wrong okay in the past they change okay and they could be the one who's wanting you okay just like what resonates number two okay they just want you to know that both of you mature from the situation both of you have changed like become a better person okay but it's really up to you guys if you want this person back okay so is there anything else well, that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching those who chose to and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hey right, guys, for those who chose number three, which is the shell with a vulcan coral. <laughs> okay, vulcan look like coral. Okay, here is your reading. So let's see if you already met the one number three. Okay. 
Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know if those who chose number three already met the one. Another, they tell me. So, one more, they say. Okay, so I feel like you intuitively know. I don't know why I sense it. Hmm, we'll check. I don't know why also I feel like karma hit them hard. Mm. So, okay, another they tell me. Okay. I don't know why somebody is destined to come back to your life, but it's over. Okay, what do they mean by that? Like the connection is over. So we'll check how many are upright. One, two, three, four, five. And we got three in reverse. Okay, don't count the numbers. Okay, I will just base it on the reading. So I will not clarify if it's a yes or a no since the angels say that. Angels and guides, please provide guidance to the cards so you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here to help us clarify so we may be able to understand another little. So, anyway, I do see that this is a karmic connection that you dealt for in the past, and you could be thinking like this could be the one. But I, unfortunately, this is not the one. This is kind of like um, a test for you. Another. Could be this is kind of like a false... Um, soulmate like you thought that it's the one but it's not okay that's why you got confused even in the numbering but the angels say let's read okay so what they want you to know is that you're now here in your new life okay like you're just busy working and whether you like it or not the angels say past person will come back the one that you thought that is the one and this connection is just passionate connection. That's what they want you to know. And that's why things didn't work out. Because could be um, in your connection, both of you didn't think, what they call this, you didn't think it through before you involve yourself in a connection. Like it's really a karmic. Karmic one is not something that is really meant for you. So we got basically a no, even though... The spread looks like a yes because the angels say don't count, okay? And now, yes, this is not the one because look at this. This is not something that you wish for. And I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles being here, Knight of Wands reverse, so I do see that the passion... I feel like you're being taught on not to rely on the passion, I feel. And I think that with the Knight of Pentacles, you better move slow with regards to finding a partner. Because honestly speaking, could be this is kind of like a rush relationship. Like you just go after it without thinking first because your hermit is in reverse. So it's just teaching you um, the importance of let's say they say maturity again, the connection. Because even with the temperance here, okay and you are somebody who's charging so what they want you to know is that chemistry is very important in a relationship you have to learn how to grow the let's say friendship okay like know the person first before you go after it that's what you need to learn so basically whomever your ex is that is your karmic guys for some of you could be dating this person already and you could be manifesting it's a yes an answer that's why but yet the angels is clarifying it's a no okay as an answer why because there is somebody that's really better for you somebody who has a giving heart 
forgiving heart too. And with the moon card being in reverse here, I do see that this person is very authentic. This person speaks their mind. They don't hide secrets from you. And you will like this person a lot because they are very mature. Okay? So... Yeah, very, wow, look at that. They're very authentic. So this is the one for you, the one that has this attitude, okay? So with the fool and then the page of cups, I think that whomever this person is, this is not the usual type that you date. Because could be they are more mature than you. They, you could be younger. There could be an age gap, I feel, here. Or if ever they are not, um, let's say they're, there's no age difference or whatever. They're just so mature. Honestly. Something that you will not go after, but this is the right person. So what I want you to know, number three, is that watch the attitude and learn how to be like the Knight of Pentacles because this is what you're learning. And don't be like the Knight of Wands. That's why this is in reverse. You need to learn from your mistakes so that you may not encounter the wrong person again. That's what they want you to know. So, next is this one. So, what they want you to know is that whenever your ex is, please release it, okay? Or if ever you're dating that person, that type with regards to only passion, connection, that is a burden. That is somebody that really don't make you stable, don't make you happy, Okay, that is not the right person for you. That's what they want you to know. And the reason why you're not meeting the one is because you haven't removed this person. You could be waiting for this person to come back or you could be still dating this person and that's why you haven't met the one yet, okay? So remember um, to learn from your mistakes, okay? You need to learn how to be in hermit mode, okay? How to think first before you act okay before you go after it and you will only meet the one if you manage to let go of whomever you have this passionate thing okay going on okay so i feel like it's a no guys okay now we'll check with your stones what we have here anyway the angels wants you to know that um it's really important guys to have patience with regards to finding a partner. Don't rush love. Don't ever do that. They say to me. And don't be afraid of a love that begins first as friends. Because by you being friends with a person, you will learn. You will know who they really are. Okay? And yeah, attitude matters and also chemistry. And you shouldn't love somebody just because of this passionate desire, guys. Remember that, alright? So yeah, you also have a car <laughs> because car is, look at that, it's about travel. So I'm sensing like you do have to move on from whomever you're, from this one, <laughs> okay, from the one that you have passionate the service. So you got this one. So I think that you really need to learn how to wait for the right person, okay? At the same time, learn to... To wait, to, to have to get into know each other first before you go on to a connection. And now in, it's very important for you to learn that attitude matters, the angels say, and also of planet. So I'm sensing here that the one that's really made for you, somebody who is very intuitive, I feel like, I don't know why sense well known. So some of them could have a platform wherein they could be well known, could be they they write books, they could be in YouTube can be very popular one. Um they're very mature, they're homey vibe, okay? Like you can resonate with them, you can talk anything to them, like without judgments, because they're so mature, they're so wise. And you will like this person, you will like the conversation, okay? You will know that this person is really smart, you know. Um, like there's something so that is whom you're meant to be number three so you yeah, haven't met this person because remember you have to let go of whomever this person is the one that has passion 
thing okay and learn from your mistakes and make sure to focus first on finances okay on the right timing you will beat the one and make sure to learn from your mistakes okay to take things slow that's what you need to learn and of course not to love somebody just because of this and remember that the one that is for you has angelic vibe they're not somebody who has this toxicity vibe like they're demanding they're they're very toxic they're energy vampires no i don't feel that with your person i feel like they're very mature they're very stable with regards to let's say i feel like they have income too they have something to offer okay some of them are sugar daddies too. <laughs> that's what i sense okay sugar mommies but i feel like they will pamper you honestly they have this very homey vibe like you will feel at home with them like they will pamper you they will nurture you so that is the one for you number three so is there anything else they say okay relationship over <laughs> they told me for if ever you're dating the wrong person but okay make sure that okay take things slow naturally the angels say that's what they want you to do don't um rush into the messenger okay and have a heartbreak no don't do that yet because of course it will shock the other person so just make things flow and talk to the divine how you will be able to you know let go of a toxic connection okay so is there anything else okay they will help you they told me but make sure that you talk to god about it they say to me and the timing will be up to god because if you rush things again just like what happened here things may not go well so make sure to avoid rushing make sure to take some time and follow the flow of the divine timing rather than rushing things over and over again and it's very important they say get into no okay they pointing it out get into no mode don't rush they keep on repeating the same thing okay we know angels say no is there anything else you tell that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose number three and sending you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number four which is the shell with um this world designed coral here is your reading so let's see if you already met the one number four so we'll check angels and guides please provide okay forgot to say guys if majority of the cards are in upright it means yes you already met the one but if majority of the cards are in reverse it means no so let's see angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so you may be able to know if those who chose number four already met the one another they tell me so one more shuffle they requested i feel like unconditional love here i feel like you're overcoming a lot of obstacles in your life number four you could have married the wrong person in the past and you could be dated somebody that's not really healthy for you like a karmic okay but the one that is really meant for you is somebody that cheated on you number four that's what i feel hmm one more they say some of you i do see here that you care for this wrong person okay the one you already have a lot of people here oh dear this is like a jumbo story okay but they will count how many are upright one two three four five so we got five upright how many are reverse one two three four five 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 so five is about changes and i wonder why you got a maybe as an answer so could be you need to change okay or could be the fortune has changed 
but we will check with your reading number four okay we're gonna clarify so i will just not give you a straight no and yes as an answer we will check angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand i do see that you have a good heart number four you do have angelic vibe i feel like a lot of people are drawn to you like they see as a wife your husband material but yet those people that are in love with you also as somebody else already they could be married they could be dating someone else already that is what you attract i don't know why okay you could be a workaholic person you're still single up till now um i feel like yeah you have a lot of admirers secret admirers like they can talk to you because they could have somebody else already hmm interesting this pops out so i will just keep it that way and then this pop out here so i just respect <laughs> the cards okay anyway let's see so i think that your guides do want to talk to you number four about your love life could be that is the thing that you're not on alignment with because i see with regards to your work you're on the right track okay it's only love situation i feel like you could be really hoping to find the right one you could be jealous sometimes with people that has persons already but don't do that they say you might put negativity out there so avoid being envious or jealous of others take note so right now we don't know the answer yet since we got a maybe we will see okay i do see here that you could be somebody who's really praying to god to give you a partner but it's not yet the right time number four because during this time you are really called on to be patient with regards to i feel like a lover or a friend i feel like there could be somebody in your life already that resonates with you and you're kind of being impatient of I think that it's a yes already with this kind of energy like you're not really looking at your intuition because your intuition is kind of telling hey you already find the one you could be doubting this person because you got this king of wands energy in reverse you could be doubting this person because could be he or she is not taking an action like it seems like that person's not passionate about you because you could be in this energy of yes i want it now please okay you could be praying so hard but yet look at whomever this person is okay you got the yes and answer you already met okay the one this is a person that really involved in a third party situation okay very mature man or wife okay that's what they want you to know and i feel like your person on the other hand looks at you like in a defensive mode because honestly your person is in a process of letting go of a connection that didn't work out so obviously it may take some time so please don't rush this person okay don't be the cause of what that three of this one okay the breakup because honestly bad karma happens if you're the cause of it it might get you get what i mean so take take time take time to let this person do whatever he or she has to do with a karmic partner because they're not really happy with the one that they're dating or i think that they could have been waiting for the right time could be they are into the divorce thing okay like they're saving some money so that they can be able to go to you and let go of this person so it will take some time and that's why you need to understand that you guys are fated together okay that this will be a fortunate event for you number four so could be you keep on thinking about this person that's why we got as well here so we got a yes and five is about changes meaning if ever this person is married or already involved in a connection there will be a change this person i see is willing to take that leap of faith 
They are not taking an action during the time that they are still with this person because they are waiting for the right time. But yet the angels heard your prayers. Okay, you could be wishing for this person, you could be, I feel like you intuitively know this is the one, but this person is not taking an action. Okay, because there needs to be an ending here before a new beginning will happen. So that's what you need to understand. Okay, and then the next thing that we got here is this one. So you have to calm down because I do see here that you're losing your patience, guys. I feel like you could be lonely, like you really want a partner. You could be into dating sites already, leaving the one for you. Don't do that, guys. Number four, don't, please, okay? Wait for this person because they will make the move, okay? That's what they want you to be aware about, number four. Okay, and I do see here that yes, you are on the right track with regards to your money. So that's what you need to focus right now because could be some of you are bored. Some of you could not be that focused at work or you could be really wanting a connection. You could be feeling nostalgic. So the angels say calm down. Okay, calm down all your horses. Okay, wait. That's what they want you to know, okay? So anyway, the next is this one. So congratulations, you met this person. I feel like the moment that they met you, honestly, they didn't take an action, but they are aware. Look at that. They keep on thinking about you, but they're crying because they can't make the move. They're with somebody else, but they're not happy with that person. I think that you opened their eyes that you guys have chemistry like when you guys met this is how they felt they felt in love with you they felt so drawn to you like they're they got hit by cupid's arrow when you first met i think that you too you felt it because this is the right one this is i feel like the one that you're searching for there's chemistry here i feel like you're aware and you could be crying um whenever you met this person and I do see here that oh yeah, I, I wanna cry. I, I feel you guys. My gosh, hugs to you all. So you could be praying and praying, okay? But I do see here that yeah, this is a victory card. So what they want you to do right now is pray, pray to God because there could be a tendency that you may shift, okay? If especially if you lose your patience with this person but what they want you to know is that this person knows that you are the one and they're hiding it secretly in their heart and they know that their person is not the right one they could be comparing you to their person like their person somebody who gives bad lucks okay and because look how unhappy they are okay and they're not really happy with the one that they're dating and could be this is a person that caused them to lose a lot of money because this is what they should be king of pentacles or queen of pentacles they should be abundant could be that person just using them for money they could be playing mind games i feel like they're tired already of that person and i think that the, the reason why they're sending this person to you because this is the person that you wish for you could be praying for the one, okay? But you wonder why they gave you a person that has someone else already. It's because the angels say, okay, this is what you really attract, okay? And you could be wondering why. Because I feel like what happened here is that you intrigue a man or woman that are not in a good partnership, okay? You make them realize what they should want, because could be, you know, they are in a wrong connection, okay? And yeah, I feel like a lot of people do are attracted to you. I feel like whomever attracted to you are having partners that doesn't resonate with them. They're so balanced there. And could be their person don't know how to earn money. Could be they're very dependent over their lover. See, they're not really happy. So I do see here that I don't know if you're somebody who breaks connections, but I feel like you don't mean it, okay? You're just somebody who's very intriguing towards people that are already involved in a connection. They do want you, but yet they can't because they're dating someone else. And the right person will have the guts will have the guts 
to do this, the right thing, to leave the partner that they had for you. Okay? But I don't feel like because you are the reason, but because the reason here why they're leaving the one that they're dating is because that person could be the cause why they're not standing their power the cause why they always have money issues they're, this person could be very demanding okay could be very pushy person okay and somebody who holds the grip to them very dependent okay and they feel like they're sick of it they're not really happy like they can't do whatever they want to do with this person like there could be a lot of arguments there that this person say enough is enough i will divorce this woman or guy i will leave so that's what's happened to your person because look at this okay i feel like they're not really content with whomever that they're dating they're not happy emotionally because whomever that they're dating is so immature okay and this person could be somebody who takes and takes and don't give anything to them and obviously this is not a soulmate that they're dating with it's somebody that really breaks their heart okay and i feel like for some of you this could be feel like another ex another energy here no wonder why i sense ex earlier so also your ex okay has feelings for you okay and I feel like this person is somebody who's into passion. So be careful with it. Because if you chose your ex, the angels say, this person is so prideful. That's what they want you to know. And very dishonest too. So don't go after your ex. That's what they want you to know. Okay? Just wait for the person, the one that is already involved in a connection. Okay? Because that person is willing to take that leap of faith. But remember, it takes some time. And 5 is about changes. So, know that the change will happen. Okay, changes means this person will divorce that person. Another change, they will be single, right? And when they become single, your connection will be uplifted on the next level. That's what they want you to know. Just don't accept your ex. Whomever broke your heart, they are still into passion thing, okay? They're not the right person for you, see? And you're not happy with that person. So what they want you to know is that don't, please, okay? Don't date online. Don't find somebody else. Because you already met the one, number four. You got a yes, okay, as an answer. Because I feel like most of you feel nostalgic already. You can't hardly wait. You want love life right now. You have been single for a long time. Please, okay, just focus on your work. Because honestly, if ever you will choose against someone else, that will be a failed connection. It will be a lesson learned for you to wait okay so what they want you to do is accept the blessing because you already felt this okay you already felt that connection with the right person right okay even your person too i feel like they miss you i i do feel them their energy anyway let's check with your stones now you know that you attract what people that already involved in a partnership because you really intrigue people. Like you could be somebody who's out of this world. Like everyone wants to be your date. <laughs> kind of thing. I wonder why you don't attract single people. Anyway. It's okay. Okay. So anyway. The angels say to me that. You will be somebody who's rich and abundant. Um, that's what they want you to know. If you focus on your career, okay, money making while you wait for this person. That's what they want you to focus on. And don't be, they say don't drink a lot because some of you are lonely, feeling nostalgic. Please avoid hurting yourself or self-harming because the angels say that person will the one okay that you're waiting for is the one okay and your ex whomever that is that is a karmic that's what they want you to be aware about so you got two people coming in your ex okay and also somebody whom i feel like this is kind of a new energy guys the one who has a connection with who's take, not taking any action yet 
um, that is what you need to wait for and not your ex, okay? So, remember the one that is destined for you, this has an angelic vibe and you're divinely guided to wait, okay? To wait for the things to end between that person and the karmic, okay? And remember this person is, okay? This is your superhero. I feel like they're very kind loving nurturing this will be like somebody who will be there for you whenever you need help they're dependable okay that's what they want you to know and you will love this person i feel like in your heart you know this is the one i feel like for some of you, you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities could be you've been seeing five a lot that's what i feel as well so that is a sign of your person and I don't know why since daisies could be daisies their favorite plant or I'm sorry favorite flower can be so okay you will be seeing fives a lot when you met this person that is their number they say to me so five is really important for you save the date five <laughs> okay five is me but i will not say that it will happen on may because based on your reading guys it may take some time especially if they're saving money so that um the divorce may happen because i feel like for some they are in this committed connection could be married already or just committed okay just see what happens the angels say and let it come naturally let the cause of the divorce or the separation is because of them fighting or just not happy with the one that they're dating. Let them, you know, um, do it. Don't force them a lot, okay? So, the angels say things will work out in the end. You will be happy with this person. This person will reconcile with you, whomever this person is, okay? And at not your ex okay there could be reconciliation with your ex but the angels say make sure it's just you know just making amends with regards to this one so don't go after this person because they are just after passion again okay? they're not really serious it's not gonna give you the victory that you're looking for so they might break your heart again if you chose your ex so they want you to wait for for the one okay and this pandemic is giving you more time and even this person you know to work things out okay so is there anything else i feel like this person knows already that you're the one i feel like they want to be single so that they can be with you and i feel like they see you as a fun loving person and i think that they they could be jealous of your success some of you okay i feel so i think that they you will really intrigue them i think that they do like you they do love you and admire you from afar i think that they could be watching your social media when they have time if ever they can because you still have somebody okay so they will take that leap of faith guys because you got the full card in upright okay with regards to this so is there anything else Ito, that's it. So anyway, congratulations, Amber, for just wait, okay? And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi, guys. For those who chose number five, which is the white shell, here is your reading. So let's see if you already met the one number five. So if majority of the cards are in upright, it means yes. You already met the one but if majority of the cards are in reverse it means no so let's check angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so you may be able to know if those who chose number five already met the one i feel like you could have finances struggle like you need to first handle it, okay? The angels say to me. So I feel like somebody's really ignoring you because of this. Like it's a turn off to people. So that's the reason why I feel like you, you're planting good karma. So you are a good person, they say to me. But yet I do see here that someone likes you, but yet you really need to focus on your money. 
because it turned off your person seeing you not in a stable state okay so one more my head really hurts so you could be really problematic with your money number five okay so five is about changes so there will be changes so i think it's somebody who likes you to so we will count how many are upright one two three four five six seven so we got seven upright how many are reverse one two three four so we got a yes you already met the one anyway gonna clarify the cards angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here to help us clarify so we may be able to understand i do see here that you really care for humanity that sometimes you forgot yourself so this time around i feel like they haven't do want you to at least experience the fruits of your labor number five i feel like I don't know why I feel like you could experience some toxicity around you. Could be some people are taking your coins. And I do feel like some people take you for granted and you really need to set healthy boundaries. You need to learn how to give to the right people. Number five, okay? And they do want you, okay, that's a lot of cards. They do want you to experience the fruits of your labor because I do see that the universe too cares for you. They want you to, I feel like, be appreciative at least of your good works because some of you, you have been harsh to yourself. You could be somebody who is an influencer or... You could have an organization on helping others to the point that you forgot yourself. So nurture yourself, love yourself. Another, they tell me. So anyway, let's see. So we got a yes and answer. It's because the angels say that whomever this the one is, okay, I feel like both of you have been receiving signs and chronicities, but I feel like both of you didn't work things out yet, okay? Like someone is a go-getter, some, someone is on a stagnant energy. So it could be you're the one who's in a stagnant and this person is more on straightforward with a move here. So what? What turns this person off is you not having much money. You're not financially stable. But look at you. I feel like people look highly on you because you're a kind person, a loving one. This person knows that you're mature. But yet, the only blockage here is your coins. Okay. Um, it doesn't mean that this person will love you if you have money. No. I just think that this person wants you to you know have abundance for yourself like save something for yourself or build your own house okay because you have a capability you just didn't see it okay i think that whomever this person is they're quite jealous of you honestly because you could be in the spotlight and they are not and this is you know what's important to you is that i think that you're not yet that ready because i think that with regards to career ladder you haven't achieved anything yet and that's a reason why this person could not be choosing you because this person keeps on thinking this is not the one because she hasn't or he hasn't achieved something you know but the angels are look at this okay pinning this person down making this person remember that you are the one so we got a yes and answer some of you this could be your twin flame that's what the angels say and i do see here that you really need to change okay um i feel like you're not somebody who's competitive or combative you're somebody who look at that it's just grounded okay you're not into competition you're just doing what you're called on to do okay i feel like you have a stable job but yet you forgot to you know give something to yourself you could be a giver to the point that you forgot to save something right so the divine is really guiding you 
um, in changing whatever that you're doing because there's needs to be change here. I feel like you're emotionally fulfilled in helping others, but you really need to change that, okay? This time around, please, okay, um, listen to the guidance of God that you really need to focus on your work, on your coins. If you really want a partnership, if you want this person, then you really have to take good care with regards to your career level because this person will not make a move towards you if you remain the same, okay? So with this Three of Swords in reverse, I do see it as well that you could be workaholic, but yet the Divine is really sad and upset that you're not somebody whom I feel like you really need to have a good relation with regards to your coins okay it's okay to give and give but remember to save money because what will happen if you know um something happened right you don't have any emergency funds so you really need to know how much important it is to at least have a saving so that you may save yourself and no one will save you so i think that okay the angels say there might be some incident that may happen which require you to realize how important saving is, okay? And I do see here, okay, that is to push you to learn how to save money because that is the thing that is blocking this connection. And with regards to your, to your hard work, it will pay off, okay? Once that you learned your lessons, that you will experience great abundance. I think that you just need to let go of you giving too much, that you forgot yourself, okay? It doesn't make you a narcissist. You just need to, you know, focus on you achieving something, okay? Being stable for yourself. And remember, you know, with regards to, let's say, if you were in a flight, right? Like there will be an instructor in the flight attendant that you have to put your mask on first before you put into your baby or to save somebody you need to put your life jacket first before you help someone kind of thing so that's what you need to remember you cannot provide something if you forgot yourself what will happen to yourself and that's the reason why a lot of people that are rescuers, they died rescuing people and they forgot themselves, right? So that's what's going on with you because you might miss this opportunity or chance if you keep on doing the same thing over and over again, okay? So you have a capability to be victorious, number five, and you just need to break the side. Um, the bad cycle on not giving something to yourself, okay? So with the judgment in reverse and this one, so if ever you care too much about people that's too dependent on you, you really need to learn how to make a graph, okay? Make a graph how much you will save, okay, versus how you will give. Okay, that's what you need to do. You need to balance sort your life out. Because with the justice and star in reverse, I'm sensing here that if you don't have this, okay, your person might choose someone else again. Because your person see you as a star in reverse, like haven't achieved anything yet. Okay, so the next card that we got here is this one. So I do see here that you're aware that whomever you're eyeing to is the one okay and i think that there's no other person that they will send to you because you already know it okay i feel like you have a lot of choices but you still felt drawn to whomever this person is okay because that is the right person okay and not your ex okay if there's an ex in the picture your ex is not the one okay so anyway, the next is this one. So I do see that you could be feeling guilty whenever you don't give money. But yet the angels say you can provide if you learn how to save money and enjoy your 
your income at least okay so i'm not teaching you to be materialistic but have balance guys okay if you're not materialistic just save money because there are some instances that you might need money you might encounter this kind of experience and that experience will that just teach you how important it is to save money for yourself because i feel like there will be an instance that you need money and no one will help you and i think this is in reverse because it's not yet happening so in order for you to avoid this kind of circumstances and start saving money now okay you you need to have a good relation with money that's what i'm gonna say number five so anyway let's check what we have here with your stones I don't know why someone has jealousy issues. Could be somebody's put the evil eye on you, number five. So make sure you protect yourself. Okay, wear, wear Labrador right and evil eye, okay? So anyway, here is your stone. So for the stones that we got here, oh, you got the eyes here. So I think that the one that is meant for you is somebody whom... I feel like you melt their eyes. Like this could be a, a masculine or feminine that is a, has a tough exterior, but they melt whenever they are with you. I feel like they have passion towards you. So this is infinity symbol. So I'm sensing like both of you could be thinking about each other a lot. And let's see. So karmic. There's karmic because I see an X here in your reading as well. So your ex is not the one. So you will be able to marry whomever that you're eyeing to if you you will learn the lesson, okay, based on the reading. You got a no. No to the karmic because we got karmic here. So say no to your ex, whomever your ex is or whomever the karmic is, okay? And yeah, there's a copycat. So really, I sense lately right that there is um someone who's sending evil eye on you so whomever this is this is a copycat okay so uh, that's the reason why you really need to wear um labradorite and evil eye okay so let's see what else we got so questions so you could be questioning this connection that you have with the person that you're eyeing on but yet i feel like you guys feel a homey vibe with each other and you're I feel like you're kind of loyal to this person because you have options okay i see the seven of cups lately okay you have other options but yet you're somebody who's too focused on this person that you're eyeing on okay that's what i see so you could be questioning if this is the one so you got clarity here in the reading that the one that is for you is the one that you're eyeing and your ex is a karmic okay or other if ever it's not an ex there's also somebody who's karmic okay and be careful with this copycat okay i don't really feel like a good vibe with that person so yeah make sure to protect yourself protect your energy from who's sending evil eye on you number five okay so is there anything else they thought that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose five and sending you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number six which is the shell with um snake like coral at the side here is your reading so let's see if you already met the one number six so if majority of the cards are in the pride it means yes you already met the one but if majority of the cards are in reverse it means no so we'll check angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so i may be able to know if number six already met the one one more detail so we'll see i 
I think that you need to remain grounded number six my head really hurts okay you could have a lot of struggle in your life and you haven't found the right person yet okay but you intuitively know that there is somebody for you okay so let the cards be they say so i will not count i will just base it on your reading number six and the angels requested gonna clarify angels and guides please provide guidance to the cards so we may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand another okay one more show no need <laughs> okay one more detail all right so we'll see I have a feeling here, yes, you are somebody who's really looking for the one. The I feel like once that you get financially stable, I think that you're thinking of um, getting married or being involved in a relationship. You could be somebody who is not that stressed with regards to love life because you know to yourself that you're not that ready. It's just really nice number six and... So you're not looking for a partner right now unless you're financially stable. But we will just check if you already met the one, okay? So you'll be aware. So, another. You could have been rejecting cups. Okay, because you're single, okay? So I do see here that you're being guided to be the empress, to to be stable, okay? And to be a nurturer too. I feel like you're somebody who is from this one, you're turning into an empress. So, which is nice, okay? You're maturing, the angels say. Just make sure that you're, you don't turn into something that you are before. That's what they want you to know. And yeah, you're not somebody who is really looking. Because you know to yourself that you're not yet there. You're not yet financially stable. Yes, you can be loving with this empress here. But with regards to being an emperor or your masculine side in the 3D career, you're not yet there. So that's the reason why you're not looking for one. And I do see here that the angels also wants to say they keep on pointing out your source in reverse. Why? Because they want you to be aware that it's very important to be somebody that's authentic. Don't lie. Okay? Because the angels say to me that you might lose a talent if you lie. I feel like your communication skill, your self-expression um, might be taken away from you if you keep on lying so that is also a distort so right now you're being challenged to focus in your career okay and avoid the drama they say to me avoid being too dramatic you could be somebody who loves to post about what's going on with your life etc so i think that during this time you I feel like it's a no as an answer, like you're still learning, you're still growing, becoming a mature person, number six. Okay, and you're aware. I like how humble you are, honestly. Okay, but yet, the misfortunes happen because of your negative attitude, so please let go of being um, like this. Like, be authentic. Be you, the angel say to me, and learn how to love yourself too okay you might be lacking it okay and then the next thing is this one so i feel like this is how you feel like there's somebody else that is really destined for you but i feel like for some of you could already be involved in a partnership but you're undecisive if this is the one for you or not but we will see we will we will check in your reading okay so i think that yes you could have intuitive gifts you could be seeing some signs that you really have to let go of certain cycles, attitude, 
okay like you're not yet ready for a connection you feel it okay even if you are involved in a connection already i feel like that is just a karmic okay or for fun for some of you but honestly speaking i don't feel like that is the one because you really need to be mature in order for you to open new doors towards meeting the right person because if you're somebody who's not stable i will say or you haven't learned how to love yourself you're not yet awakened you might encounter a wrong person that will force you to mature okay and i do see here that some of you some of you could be betrayed in the past like it's pushing you as well to speak your truth because you always have the swords in reverse so you're learning how to be authentic okay and i'm sensing here like the divine is really challenging you as well to stand in your power okay because you have a star quality yes right so but it might be gone if you're destroying your own life by not being authentic remember the angels say you really have to learn how to love yourself you really need to learn how to appreciate it of who you are as a person because if you're somebody who's being dishonest you could be copying other people's personality and so forth they don't want you to change okay they want you to be aware about the things that you can do and the consequences of your actions as well the angels say because i feel guys okay could be you know there could because i feel like there's a bad karma that like it's kind of following you around because of these bad behaviors or cycles that you have been doing okay i feel like it's more on loving yourself really and trusting yourself the divine i feel like the divine is really showing you what you are what you are here to do and you're still learning the angels say and they want you really to be mature first before you find the one because honestly with this moon in reverse like the one for you haven't shown yet itself like it's a no really as an answer number six if ever you're dating that is not the one because you really need to learn you really need to be a mature person first before you find the right partner because this is how you're feeling like you're aware that there's something else out of there especially if you're dating you feel like this is not the one and you have to be honest about it right so anyway we got i know as an answer you haven't met the one yet okay so you will only find the one if you got mature anyway so let's see did the charms that we have here and learn how to be authentic honestly I'm, I'm having a hard time to express myself i think that you're losing your voice your capability to express so make sure avoid dishonesty okay that's very important guys you might lose a talent if you keep on doing the same mistake okay so we got marriage so some of you could be already married because i kind of sense that some of you are involved in a connection but they're pointing out that if ever that is okay situation that is not the one for you okay so i do see camera here so what we have here is still i feel like you could be somebody whom is jealous because could be your i feel like some of you have phobia with regards to taking pictures or you just don't love yourself like there's something in yourself that you don't like that's why you could be copying others that can be so you got the four here so four is about stability so you i feel like you're aware that you're not financially stable and that's the reason why you're not looking for love because some of you are single there's some other group of you that's already involved in a connection okay see money so i'm sensing here that you haven't find 
the right one why because guys you really need to learn how to be at peace with yourself you really need to learn how to love yourself for who you are how to treat yourself well as well okay and how not to copy others personality accept who you are as a person you need self-discovery too because you can't find the one guys if you don't know yourself you might end up with a person that doesn't vibe with you that doesn't resonate with you no chemistry because you don't vibe together so that's very important to know yourself because in knowing yourself you will see the one okay i think that the clue there is that the one that is for you is somebody who is like you okay and you will only know that if you know yourself so first about stability too so i think that yes you're also being called on to focus in your money making guys okay so if you have a phobia with regards to taking pictures of yourself they say it's not time for you to love yourself okay um and don't be discouraged just because there's something wrong with your physical appearance because everyone is beautiful have peace with yourself okay if you're struggling financially then focus on your work and with this question mark if you're questioning your person the one that you're dating the one that you're married with that is not yet the one okay someday you will free yourself from that person because could be this is a karmic that's teaching you how to love yourself okay and of course not being a liar so avoid being a liar okay and avoid creating a facade out there that you're dating someone that's not a karmic because some of you could be posting a lot but that is not the one for you so kind of avoid that too number six okay because that is not yet a person honestly speaking is there anything else angels and the angels say in divine timing you will find the right person but now you really do have to mature you have to learn how to let go of your insecurities because you cannot find yourself if you keep on doubting yourself and you have to remove yourself from this prison of lack okay really feel like you know what's wrong so I do see here that you could be purging a lot because I think that you're being forced on to see what's wrong with your life, why you're stuck, why things are not going well. So remember the angels say if things are not going well, you could not be on the right path. That's another clue here. Actually, there's a lot of blockage. Um, the one that I see is because you could not be trusting yourself you haven't find yourself yet you don't know yet the right career for you because you will only know the right career for you if you know yourself already so that's why you're always undecisive okay and but yet you know to yourself some of you, if you're single you know to yourself that when you're financially stable it's the right time yes okay you're right there but you're not yet there on finding the right partner because you really need to let go of negative attitudes okay that you may have or negative cycle and tell the truth learn how to be authentic and expressive some of you are not yet that expressive okay because i feel like you have star qualities that you haven't discovered yet so in star qualities i think that it's really forcing you to express more to acknowledge your gifts because you haven't acknowledged it because i feel like if only you know what you're incapable to do if you enhance it you can have money okay you will be financially stable by you doing the right work okay that's really made for you so is there anything else okay misfortune happens if ever you're doing bad things the angels say so let go of negativity okay avoid planting bad seeds avoid planting bad karma so that you may not experience this kind of luck 
with regards to money because i feel like bad karma is happening to you with regards to your money abundance there's a lot of blockage i see and there's a lot of okay consequences of your actions to the angels say and don't humiliate others that's also what they want you to know number six and if ever you're somebody who casts spells or evil eye it will backfire on so you know that okay um avoid doing something bad so that you will be on the right track number six so as of now you haven't find the one because you really need to change your life you need to mature you need to help yourself guys okay but i feel like the divine is really you know showing you what you can do making you think about it okay anyways or anything else okay you really have to let go some of your stubborn the angels say you're not letting go of let's say toxic behavior or whatever it was because you can't find the one if ever you're stuck there the angels say if ever you're somebody who's always being followed by bad karma they're not letting the one to be affected by whatever is happening in your life because obviously they will also taste that bad karma if ever you find the one right away so they're making sure that you are on the right track the moment that you find a person so we got a note here number six i really feel sadness here and depression it's because the divine is forcing you to awake so that you may have this victory in your life they're making you think why it happened so avoid the blame game too try to see what's wrong with your life or what's not on alignment and also your attitude to watch your attitude watch your words as well so make sure you're teaching yourself how to behave the angels say and how to watch her as a better person how not to tell a lie how not to cheat whatever it was that's negative let that go and the angels say the wheel will turn in your favor because i see here that you're experiencing still bad karma in your life number six so please avoid being distorted because you have like you have a capability here to reach your goals and your dreams okay but you have to be on alignment it will not happen if you're not on alignment like remember that what you sent out there will come back to you so that's the reason why you have misfortunes as well okay so anyway the angels say the divine is really preparing you to meet the one but please okay prepare yourself do what is called on for you to do by heaven and be closer to god the angels say don't detach from him don't detach from our creator be a loving kind energy because some of you i feel like you have cap capability to love but yet i feel like there's some certain qualities that you really need to let go before you find the one in cycle two okay whatever it is that is a blockage release so you may find the right person number six i know yourself too be on the right track with regards to your career because you haven't find the right career yet okay and so for those who's waiting who's single you did the right thing okay and yeah trust that you will meet the partner once that you're ready once that you finally break free from negativity okay so is there anything else they tell that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose number six and sending you all peace love and light bye